Next we're going to take another look at this topic of solving equations and this is a big topic for the study of algebra and we've seen some of this before already in this course and specifically we saw these two techniques. You can take an equation and you could add the same number to each side or subtract the same number from each side or the other technique we saw was that you could multiply or divide by the same number on both sides and what we're going to do now is combine those two techniques but first let me do a little example that shows each of these and when you would use one of these techniques versus the other so take a look at this 4x equals 28 and this this equation here for plus x equals 28 now these two equations look similar but they're really very different this 4 times x right there is very different from this 4 plus x and so these equations in, end up being solved in different ways the idea is to find the number for x that satisfies the equation and so what you want to do is do the algebra and end up with the equation looking like this x equals something and that something will be the answer so another way we say it is that we need to get x all by itself on one side or we need to isolate x and right now x is multiplied by 4 so to undo that multiplication what we need to do is divide by 4 and the fundamental concept in algebra is that if we divide by 4 on the left side we also divide by 4 on the right side and then you can see what happens the 4 up top and on the bottom will cancel each other out leaving us with the x right there all by itself and on the right side we have 28 divided by 4 which is just 7 now you could probably do that in your head if you just looked at this original equation and said 4x equals 28 well obviously x has to be 7 because 4 times 7 is 28 but the point is understanding how to do this step dividing by 4 on each side in order to cancel out those 4's so that x remains by itself uh, even though this was a simple problem this technique is important to understand it will be useful with more complicated problems now the point I'm making here is that in in these examples right here x and 4 were multiplied so we had to divide to get rid of the 4 now look at this equation over here the x and the 4 are added so we will need to subtract in order to get rid of the 4 I'm going to subtract 4 from the left and I subtract 4 from the right because whatever you do on one side you have to do exactly the same thing on the other and now you should be able to see over here the effect is to again isolate the x 4 plus x minus 4 leaves me with simply an x so I cross out these 4's and I'm left with x on the left side that's the only thing that remains on the left side and on the right I have 28 minus 4 which is 24 in both cases I've solved for x I found the number for x that makes the equation true in, in the first problem I did it by uh, division and the second problem I did it by subtraction and those two techniques I'm either adding or subtracting the same thing on each side or multiplying or dividing by the same number on each side those techniques sometimes show up together and in the examples that follow we have to use both of those techniques in the same problem okay here's the first example 2x minus 5 equals 7 I have the 2x and this negative 5 and what I need to do is isolate the x so there are two terms on the left side and what I need to do is to first isolate the term that contains the x so I need to isolate the 2x which means I need to get rid of this minus 5 so I do that by adding 5 and I have to do the same thing on each side so the left side is 2x minus 5 plus 5 and the right side is 7 plus 5 now on the left the minus 5 and the plus 5 uh, undo each other so I, I have 2x all by itself on the left on the right I have 7 plus 5 which is 12 
Now the equation is not solved, but it's a little bit simpler. I have 2 times x equals 12. Now you can probably see that x has to be 6 because 2 times 6 equals 12. But the point here is to learn this technique. I can get rid of the 2 by dividing by 2. And I divide by 2 because this 2 and this x are multiplied. Division undoes the multiplication. And if I divide by 2 on the left, I divide by 2 on the right. And then it's standard practice here to cross out these twos because they cancel out. And I'm left with x on the left equals, on the right side here, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Here's another example that we will solve the same way. 6x plus 3 equals negative 15. I'm going to start by isolating the term that contains the x. So that means I need to get rid of this plus 3. And I get rid of this addition of 3 right there by subtracting 3. And so I have to subtract 3 from both sides. And we typically write that on both sides. And then on the left, the plus 3 and the minus 3 cancel out, leaving me with 6x on the left side. On the right side of the equal sign, I have negative 15 minus 3. And negative 15 minus 3 is negative 18. So 6x equals negative 18. Now this 6x means 6 times x. That's multiplication right there. So I undo a multiplication by 6 by dividing by 6 on both sides. If I divide by 6 on the left, I divide by 6 on the right. And those 6's cancel out, leaving me with an x on the left side of the equal sign. And on the right side of the equal sign, I have negative 18 over 6, which is negative 3. And that's it. x equals negative 3. Once you get the equation in this form, x equals something, that something is the answer. So the problem is solved.